the charges are listed as follows. Give me a moment here. Um, first off is disorderly conduct. Mr. Wicks, uh, do you have an email address? Do you have an email address? No. Okay. How about a phone number? Phone number All right. The uh, state is alleging four charges against you. Um, Last night. The charges are listed as follows. Give me a moment here. Um, first off is disorderly conduct. The second charge is driving on a suspended license or revoked for license. The third is drug paraphernalia possession or use. And the final charge is dangerous drug possession or use. On those charges, you have the right to remain silent, right to counsel, and right to trial. I've scheduled you for a two-part hearing on September 9th at 4 o'clock p.m. The uh, first part of it is regarding the felony charges. That's called a preliminary hearing, and that's where the prosecutor will present testimony and evidence to a judge or to a grand jury to determine if there's probable cause to charge you with those felonies, not convict you, just to charge you. If there is probable cause, that portion of the case will bind over to the Gila County Superior Court. If there's not probable cause, the felony portion of the case will dismiss. Uh, regarding the misdemeanors, at the same date and time, you need to be prepared to plead either guilty, not guilty, or no contest to the two misdemeanor violations, again, driving suspended and disorderly conduct. Depending on how you plead, uh, please, will be what happens next with the court proceeding, and all of those options will be explained to you prior to you giving your plea, as well as the penalty ranges of those charges. On regarding your bond, I'm placing a total of $3,200 bond, and I'll break down the amounts. The dangerous drug possession is a $1,500 bond. The drug paraphernalia possession is a $700 bond, and then a two, uh, two $500 bonds on the misdemeanors. So let me, since you're held in custody, sir, on the felonies, you have the right to a court-appointed attorney if you cannot afford to hire one. Can you afford to hire an attorney? No. Okay, so I need to ask you some questions about your finances to qualify you for a court-appointed attorney. Well, attorney. If you would raise your right hand so I could administer an oath. Do you solemnly swear the information you're providing the court regarding your finances to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay. What is your marital status, single, married, partnered, separated, or divorced? She passed away. Okay. Do you have, how many other people do you financially support? I'm beside myself, Mark. One other person? Yes, sir. Okay. And what is the age and gender of that other person? Uh, male and uh, uh, I think he's 60, uh, over 61. 61 male? Yes. Does he live with you? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a job? No, I'm disabled. Okay. Do you receive any, dis any disability income? Social Security disability. Social Security disability? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you um, have any other take-home pay sources besides that? No. Okay. How much is that disability Social Security income? Not enough for a lawyer. Maybe. Okay. What do you get about a month? I think it's 1300 Okay. Do you own a house? Well, that depends on if i got to fight this lawyer. I've only been living and bought the house. Do you currently own the house? Well, it's my house with my wife. But I gotta fight her brother. Okay. He's already stolen to it to uh, homes and when he comes here he's gonna be doing it for the third trying it for the third time and I'm defending that place 
Nobody's getting in. Okay. Uh, do you have any bank or retirement accounts? No. Okay. Do you have any outstanding loans? No. Okay. What are uh, your monthly expenses approximately? Here's an easier way to figure it. You get about 1300 a month. How much at the end of the month of that is free spending money? None. So you, your expenses are about all 1300 Yeah. Okay. You owe money. I have no problem. Being in. All right. And the two officers assaulted me on my own home. Okay. So, in the car. Sir, you do qualify for a court-appointed attorney, so I'm going to assign that attorney to you. The way that the way that works is that attorney will be assigned, so you're held in custody. And come on, come on. I don't mind. I think mean, I, 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 you assaulted me on my own property. Do you want me to explain? Do you want me to explain further the process? All right, sir. So since you're in custody on a felony, uh, the, the, the count. I have not even done that. I was in the. I wasn't even in the car. The, the county attorney has 48 hours to file a complaint against you. If they don't do that, regarding the felonies, you'll be released on your own recognizance without having to post the bond. Okay. I cannot, I cannot, sir. So uh, the 3200 will remain in place, and we'll have to see how the uh, county attorney files a complaint. Uh, 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 this is ridiculous. Okay, that'll be all, that'll be all, guys. Johnny, come on. That's I don't want to see. Uh, uh, yeah. Coming forward? Yeah, so she is. She, she's a little. So I'm going to turn, turn that other program off. Okay. All right, man.